Your assignment for today is to create a movie in Movie Maker using the tech pictures that you used in yesterday's PowerPoint assignment. So I'm going to give you a few basics. We do have some instructions here and we have a slideshow that will take you through step by step. But sometimes it's good to see people actually doing it. So I'm going to give you a few pointers on Movie Maker and some things that you need to know in order to be successful when you create your movie. Now one thing about Movie Maker, it's really particular in that it actually does links to pictures and doesn't embed them. So it's important that you know where to find your pictures and that you keep them there. If you move them around, then you're going to get broken links. So you might have recalled yesterday I had you create a folder for your tech pics. If you haven't done that yet, then go back to yesterday's lesson, go through that uh, video and make sure that you have created in your student account a folder for your tech pics. You're going to use that today. Then you're going to go to the home page here where you see a link to tech pics. I'm also going to include it on the other website so you can get to it easily. And click on this to open up all your different choices. I don't want you searching the internet finding just any random pictures. I want you to use these pictures that you will find here in this folder. You're going to come here, click on the link, and you see all the different pictures that you have available to you, just like you did for PowerPoint. But we can't just copy and paste them like you could for PowerPoint. You actually have to download them. So find a picture that you want. Maybe you want this texting kids picture. I'm going to click on it to open it up like this. And now I actually have to download it. So look up in the upper right hand corner of your screen and you should see some kind of a download arrow. It might not be right here, but it should be over here by your picture somewhere close. You're going to click on download and then it's going to come up and ask you where to save it. Now this is really important. You can see right here that I'm in my tech pics folder. You're going to click on computer, click on your student number, and click on your tech pics. So you want to make sure that the last thing up here in your location bar is tech pics. You can see that I've already saved several pictures in here, and the name is already good because I've saved the, changed the names already. So when you find your picture, go ahead and click save and save it into that tech pics folder. I would like for you to have around 10 pictures or so. You can decide how many pictures you want. After you've downloaded, you can close the picture. You probably have like an X right here that you can click on to close the picture and then pick another one. So go ahead and the first thing before you even start your movie is to get all the pictures that you want. Now that you have your picture saved, you're ready to get into Movie Maker and actually start creating your movie. So I've already gotten into Movie Maker. You should be able to find it when you go to your Start button and find Movie Maker. It should be right there. If anything pops up asking you to accept or whatever, just go ahead and do it. It should only ask you to do that once. And here we are into Movie Maker. And you can adjust this window. So if you want to see your pictures, if you want to see the preview, you know, you have some adjustments, you know, kind of resize it to whatever size you want. The first thing you want to do is add your photos. So you're going to click here on this button. You'll make sure in your Home tab, click on Add Photos. You're going to go into your account, find your tech pics, and then you see all the different pictures that you saved. And you can um, go ahead and select them one at a time. Like I can just click here and open. I can do it one at a time. Or I can highlight them and do them all. So it's really just a personal choice. Once you have them all here, you can rearrange them. So I'm just going to click. Notice that they, they had a blue line around them that indicated they were selected. Now I just have this one selected. So I can move these pictures in any order that I want. So that's pretty handy. So add your pictures. Put them in the order that you'd like, beginning to end. And then you can also take a look down here and you can see the timing of your movie. So right now all these pictures are just over one minute. I would like for you to have your video at less than a minute. So it, one thing you can do, you could take out the pictures. But another thing you do is just adjust the time. So if I click on this one picture, I'm going to come here to my video tools and click on edit and you can see the duration right now is seven seconds and that's really a long time to look at a picture so I might adjust it to four or five and I can go to the next picture I can do the same thing if you want to get a little bit fancy try using your control key to select more than one picture and I can set the duration for all of them so that's something you can kind of try out but you can always just go from one to one so I've adjusted the timing. I've got it down to 55 seconds. That's pretty good. I might want it to go even just a little bit faster. So I might go down to 4 seconds each. And I'm down to 44 seconds. So that's pretty good. 
I'm going to do all the basic stuff first. I've got my pictures. I've got the timing. The next thing I want to do is animations. If you look across the top here, you'll see a tab for animation. This is how I go from picture to picture. Right now it's really boring. It's just going to go four seconds and then just change to the next picture. Pretty boring. So an animation is like a transition for a slideshow. But it's going to, so it's going to go picture to picture. And you have a whole bunch of choices just like you had before. So I can click here, take a look, and just all manner of different kinds of choices. So you can do a different one for each one. You can do the same one. So maybe I want to do a star right there. I can even have a transition come here. And you can see, tell that you have a transition because you get this little triangle there. You can also adjust the duration of your transition. So this is a one and a half seconds. Maybe I want it to be a really short one. So you can adjust not only which, which animation, but how long you want the animation to go. So I encourage you to do an animation for every slide, every picture. Okay. So you can do one and apply it to all, or you can go one at a time. You don't really have that many pictures, so this is a good time to just try them out, try different ones, try different durations, see how it goes. Okay, then the next thing is another good tip. I would like for you to try doing one of these pan and zooms. If we come back to the beginning, you, you can see that the transition made a difference, so it's more interesting how I go from picture to picture, but the pictures do not move. They are still. So in order to add more interest to, the, to your video, we can add a pan and zoom. This is going to be movement. So and once again, go to each picture to do this. You can do an apply to all, or you can just try different ones each time. So here I'm at my first picture, and maybe I want it to go from top to bottom. See how it did some movement? I can come here, and maybe I want to try a different one. I want to go um, a different way. And then I come here, and I can try yet a different one. So I can add in a variety of movement. Let's start back at the beginning and just see what the pan and zoom look like. So see some movement there, go a different way, go a different way. So you're really going to add some interest to your movie instead of just still pictures. And now you can see the ones I didn't add anything to, and it gets to be all boring again. So I encourage you to add an animation and a pan and zoom to every picture. Now if you want to get a you know, really fancy, try some different things. You can try visual effects. This is completely optional. If you do a visual effect, I would not do it for every picture because it really does kind of make a change. So I can make it just sepia. I can make it, you know, artistic. There's these different things that actually change the look of the picture. So I don't really recommend that, but since you're learning how to use Movie Maker, that's something you can certainly play around with. And once I've got everything basically set here and I've got my animations, I've got my pan and zooms, I'm going to come back to the beginning and I'm going to do my title. To do your any kind of words, I'm going to come here to the Home tab. Click on Title. It should come at the beginning and it says My Movie. I'm going to change it to My Tech Life by, and then of course, student name. Now I've got my text tools right here. I can adjust this up. I can change the text to a different font. I can change the size. I can change the alignment. I can even change the color. You can change your background color. So you've got a lot of good little choices there, depending on what you want to do. Then I've got some choices over here. My effects for my text can be interesting. So you can take a look at what each one of these might be like if you want them to swing out, scroll over, have, you know, cinematic. Okay. So you can add a nice little um, effect. Then we also want to add, a, and then I can adjust the timing. So it's going to be at 7 seconds. If I think that's too long, and I'm checking down here my time, it's, it's not too long right now, but I can adjust this. Maybe I want it to be only 5 seconds. If I'm going to do this, notice this was my text tools, and I can click on my edit, my video tools, and adjust that as well. So you kind of want to do both. And then you can run it, see if everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to come here to the end, move my little bar to the end, and I'm going to do a credit. So once again, I come back to the Home tab, click on Credits, and I usually just stick with Credits, and you can, you know, just say, you know, you can get more fancier than that if you want to. You can give credit to where you got the pictures, or if you added sound, or 
if you are directing you can have any kind of credits that you want and once again you can adjust the duration so I'm going to do text tool and video tool adjust the duration I can add in an effect if I want if I come here to my text tools I can do an effect I can change colors all that kind of thing so just realize that you've got some tabs up here video tools text tools if you're adding in music then you will have a music tool as well Okay. once everything is basically set the last thing to do is to add some captions to each picture so there's going to be words that go with each picture something about that picture so if my first picture here is um, you're seeing um, I'm doing some animation on my tablet that's kind of what the picture looks like so I'm going to move my bar to where I want the caption to start so maybe about right there click on caption it's going to come up like this enter text here so I'm going to just say create animation on a tablet now this is a little hard to read so one thing I can do is I can change the font maybe I want it to be a thicker font maybe I want to move it okay. and I can even change the color so whatever you need to do in order to make it show up so I've got this caption going on come to the next picture I'm going to stop it or move my bar I'm going to add in another caption Okay, send messages by texting. Okay, so just you can your caption can be anything that just kind of describes the picture. If you are changing the font, I would recommend that you be consistent. It will be completely up to you. But you should have, in order to make a complete movie, adding some text to each picture. Now, when everything is finished, there's a couple of different ways to save. I'm going to click back here on home. And if I go to File, I can see Save Project. And the project is different from the movie. So if you'd like to save the project, because maybe you're going to work on it again tomorrow, make some changes, then I would go ahead and save the project and save it into the same folder where all your pictures are. You want to be able to find it. It's going to save with an extension WLMP. It's a Windows Movie Maker project. Okay? Now this is not a movie. So just be clear about that. It is a project you do want to make it into an actual movie so there's a couple of ways to do this I'll show you my favorite way is to stay right here on the home tab come over to the far right and you see an icon over here that says save movie So I'm gonna click on this and you should get lots of choices the choice that I typically pick is YouTube because this one is a small enough video file that it lets you do just about anything with it that you want so when you actually so you can save your project but make sure that you come over here, click on Save Movie, and I'm going to go to YouTube. And I'm going to go into this same folder that are, where I have been. So mine's going to be a little different from yours, but I have my tech picks. I'm going to save my movie and my project, everything into this same folder where I will always be able to find it, and Movie Maker will be able to find it. Now my movie is not a good name. Let's change this to My Tech Life. And then everybody's going to call their, their tech life, so do a dash and student name. That way when you turn it in, you won't be overriding anybody else's project. And click Save. It's going to go through this little pro process right here of creating your actual YouTube video. And then this is what you can send to each other if you want to. This is what you can play. And this is definitely what you will be turning in. So remember there's a difference between project and the movie. You want to make sure you go all the way through and create your movie. So here's just some quick basics when it comes to Movie Maker. And there's more instructions on the website if you need it, or come and watch the video again. This is just a quick run through. Didn't expect you to memorize anything.